Hey everyone, today I'm doing a video about the behaviors that I've overcome throughout my recovery and also the behaviors that I'm yet to overcome as well. Um, this video might be triggering, so I'm telling you in advance, I'm warning you that um, if you're easily triggered, don't watch this. Because uh, once you have a behavior, it's sort of hard to stop and I really don't want any of you to start behaviors that I have if you don't have them already. But for those of you that are curious about eating disorders and exactly what are these bizarre behaviors, well, here is an insight as to what mine are like. So I guess I'll start off with um, the behaviors I've overcome. Um, I guess to give you some background, I've been in recovery since November, and now it is May, so it's been six, seven months um, that I've been in recovery, and so these are the behaviors I've overcome so far. Um, so the biggest one, I guess, or the most significant one, is that I've stopped hiding food. Um, I stopped hiding food after my last hospitalization, which ended in March. So I've stopped hiding food for about two months now, which is pretty cool. Um, and with that, I've also stopped throwing away food, um, which is good because it's bad to waste food. Um, like, now I realize how much we waste and it's horrible. And like so much money is wasted on food and mm -mm, wasting food is bad. Also, I've stopped skipping meals intentionally. By intentionally I mean like um, sometimes I'll have no choice but to skip a meal because I have a test at the hospital or something that I'm not allowed to eat before or like uh, I'll make a lunch smaller because we're having dinner early, you know, stuff like that. That's okay. I've done that, I still do that, but I think that's okay. I used to do that before when I wasn't sick, so it's sort of normal, I think. But yeah, I've stopped skipping meals, like, um, like for example, I always eat my three meals a day, like, I won't skip lunch because, um, I don't want to eat those extra calories or something, if you know what I mean. Um, speaking of calories, I've stopped strictly counting calories like on my fitness pal and stuff like that I don't do that anymore um, I haven't done that in a really long time I find it really um, not well it's not smart but I didn't mean it that way I mean like um, it's not productive that's what I mean like it just it makes my head hurt seriously like it's so time consuming and it doesn't really get you anywhere. Like, I still count calories, like, in my head, but I don't, like, strictly count calories. Like, I don't write everything down anymore, which is good. Um, so yeah. Other than that, um, uh, I used to not even come to the table at dinner. Um, but now I make the effort to come to the table. I guess that's sort of a step forward. Um, I don't really eat at the table when I'm with my family, but I still sit there and sort of eat. And then I finish my dinner afterwards along with my mom, so I guess I've sort of improved. Um, other things that are, like, sort of improving are, um, eating in front of people, um, like at school and stuff, I don't really have a choice, so I do eat in front of people sometimes, like at parties and stuff, and um, in some ways I find it easier to eat in front of my friends than it is to eat in front of my dad. I don't know if any of you are like that, like it's easier for you to eat with your friends than with your family. Um, let me know down below in the comments if you guys have that too. Uh, and then also another thing that I'm sort of stopping but I still sort of do sometimes is, um, you know, like when you check yourself in a mirror and you like grab at your fat or your fat, if you know what I mean. So yeah, and now these are the um, behaviors I'm still yet to overcome. There's more than the ones I have overcome, but 
and I'm working on that. So one of them is walking around for no reason. I still, you know, like at school, I still take the longest way to class and like, um, if I have a break in between classes, I'll spend it, you know, walking around the halls or whatever. But, uh, that's sort of gotten better, like in some ways. Like sometimes I'll go straight to class and not take the long way. But yeah. Um, another one is always standing. I still do that, like seriously, sitting here and recording this video is like killing me inside because I'm not standing. But you know, this is like the only time of the day I'm not standing, so I guess, you know, it's nice to rest. And like, I don't know why I do it, like honestly, standing does nothing. And it just gets annoying, but it's hard to stop. Another thing is like when I'm standing, I'll often like shake my leg, um, which is something I got at the hospital. Like other people did it, so I did it too, and then I just can't stop doing it. Um, cutting my food in small pieces, I still do that. Eating super slowly, I still do that, and it's like really embarrassing because when I can't eat in front of my friends without feeling like either super uncomfortable or out of place because it's either I have to cut my food up really small and I can eat comfortably but then people are staring at me or I cannot cut in small pieces then I feel uncomfortable because I'm not doing my normal behavior so that sort of sucks um like I try to eat fast but I just can't do it like I don't know yeah um I still compensate with exercise sometimes it's slowly getting better I guess because I've sort of gotten bored of like walking on the treadmill for an hour and 10 minutes so I do it once in a while like a couple times a week instead of every day I guess that's better when I go run outside it's because I actually like running and I'm not compensating so it's good um I still eat my food in sections and I still like if I have a sandwich I'll still take it apart eat the bread first and then the meat and then the cheese and then the other slice of bread um, which is sort of embarrassing, but yeah, and I still abuse cinnamon and pepper um, People comment on that too. And okay. I really hate it when people comment on my behaviors, but it's like It's really weird and I understand why they're commenting, but I don't know it makes me feel really uncomfortable and then uh, I still check myself in the mirror all the time which is really bad because when I check myself in the mirror it's never a positive thought and I should know better. Like, I'm never gonna look in the mirror and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so pretty today. Like, no, never happened, never will. So it's like really not productive for me to look in the mirror like that, but I still do it anyways. Um, I still check labels on everything. Like I check, like if we buy a package of carrots, for example, I will look on the back to see how many calories are in one carrot even though I know very well. Like, I always check and it's really annoying and it's like, I try to do it like subliminally when I'm at the grocery store with my mom, but you know, I feel awkward. Like, people are looking, are like shopping and I'm just looking behind every single label. Like, my mom's just like, go pick a jam. I'm like, okay, and then I look behind every single label of jam and then when you look, after like 10 minutes, I'm still standing there, you see all the cans turned and all the labels are facing out because it's looking at them and it's, you know where I've been when you see all the labels turned around um and then speaking of labels I always look for the lower calorie option so if my mom asks me to pick a yogurt I will pick the lower calorie yogurt over the higher calorie yogurt no matter what the nutritional value I still do that sometimes I won't pick the lower calorie value um but usually I will but I've gotten sort of better like before if there was a 10 calorie difference between something I would definitely take the lower calorie option even if it tasted gross but now I'm sort of getting better like if we buy a certain kind of waffles I will pick the one that's 10 calories more because it tastes better so that's gotten better I guess um and then finally another behavior that I still have is like a specific eating ritual like you know fork next to the spoon on that side the napkin folded and a triangle with the milk there and stuff like that 
but yeah, that's still there. So those are some, basically, some of my behaviors that I still have and I've overcome. I probably have a lot more, but these are the ones I can think of in the top of my head. Um, I'm not going to really ask you for your behaviors because that would probably trigger me. So please don't list your behaviors down below because that would just not be very nice to other people with eating disorders. And I'll probably delete your comment. Sorry. Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm doing pretty well uh, be besides the behaviors, but you know, minor detail. Other than that, I'm doing good. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.